Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be comparing two cubes. The Zanchi, the Dian Zanchi versus this Chinese brand cube I got. It's supposed to say Dream Cube on there, but it's supposed to say Dream Cube on there, but it got erased because it was painted instead of stickered. I like the logo, but I forgot to put some scotch tape on there so preserve it a little longer. But yeah, I like this one too. But anyway, I'm going to do a comparison. Size comparison, I'm going to do right now first because that's the easiest. Let's see. Hold on, let me see if I can get the right angle. The Zanchi is just a little smaller because of these bulky tile things. And they both do come with center caps. I can't take mine off because I accidentally super glued them in. But I know how to way to take them off and I'm not in the mood to do it. But they, they do have center caps. Both of them do have center caps. Try to take them off. I have no more fingernails, so. Ow. I don't. I'm not going to show you the mechanism yet. But there we go. Got the center cap off. Both do have screws and springs. Um, the turning quality I'm going to talk about next. Turning is very smooth on here. This is with lube, of course. Um, turning quality here is okay. And this is without lube. So I cannot compare the turns because both of them do not have lube in there. But it turns pretty good for a lube. For non-lubed. Sorry, not lube. And you see that I have remodified, like, um, it's super cheap. It's supposed to be called Dream Cube, like I said, a Dream Speed Cube. But these center caps, they have center caps on all of them. Center cap here, center cap here, center cap here. Center caps are everywhere on all over the cube, so we lost one, but I had a leftover center cap from a old Chinese brand cube, and it's black, so that's why. So, that is my Dream Cube. So it's the Dream Cube one. They both turn relatively the same. Except for this one turns better. Alright, now a little bit on the corner cutting. Let's see, 45 degrees. Sorry, hold on, let me get out and focus more. 45 degrees. It can cut it. 45 degrees again. That's 45 degrees. Completely 45 degrees. Now if you do 45 degrees on here, it doesn't cut it. Un unless you force it as hard as you can. So pretty much the overall cutting rate without forcing it, like the Banshee, you semi have to force it, is probably about this much to the end of the QP. Without any problems, pretty much. Here, let me turn off this light. Actually, I may want to turn it on later for the mechanism show, but anyways. So, corner cutting max here is probably half the half that for normalness. It's actually probably, I'm going to try the end of it, see? And I can't turn that. So, about three-fourths of the way. Maybe a little more. Yeah, so, corner cutting here is obviously better. Zanchi is obviously better at corner cutting. And, um, well, the Zanchi has this problem with the corners turning a lot. Let's see. But, but these don't have a problem turning. You just have to tighten it, that's all. But, I'm not in the mood. I can't take out the center caps. And, um, and I'm just going to do a, um, R, B prime R, over and over. Pretty fast, huh? Okay, for this one for doing this. It, you can feel a slight difference. Now, lockups. There are pretty much no lockups in here because you can reverse corner cut. So, that's why I can do it so fast and smoothly. See how? But for here. See, you felt that lock because it can't reverse corner cut. 
Well, it barely can. You can barely reverse corner cut right now. So now, at the very end, I'm going to do my final results thing. First, I'm going to show you the mechanism a little bit. So, you can't take this out like a normal Rubik's Cube, but this one you can. Like that. And I'm going to show you the Zanchi mechanism, which you guys already know. It's basically like the Guhong, modded, modded Guhong, pretty much. Oh, God, I hate to take it out this way because it makes the cube looser. There we go. So you see torpedoes and edges and corners. Let me corner like a stock. Mine is modded. Mine is modded, as you can see, it's a little sanded, but you probably can't see that. See, I'm going to show you that it's modded first. See, it moves smoothly. If it's on non mod, it'll catch. So, now, here's the mechanism of this one. Very odd. I When I first saw this, I thought it was very odd. Well, it's not odd because of an F2 semi has this, but it was like almost all the way. See? Almost all the way there. And as you can see, inside is the center cap right there. That's what it's supposed to be. Anyways, the edges versus this edge is a gigantic difference. That's the difference. Now, corners are a little different. They have been cut in half, sort of, like a regular Rubik's corner, except just sliced. So there's a major difference here. So, yeah. See if I can put this back. Oh, breaking it. Whatever. I'm just gonna force it. There we go. Test it out. Every time I take it apart, I have to test it. Okay, this one's good. Alright, that's pretty much now my final results. I actually over all these cubes I like the Zanshi obviously better so does most of the speed cubers most of the speed cubers like the Zanshi the best or the, more of the top speed cubers like the Zanshi the best but for this cube I actually like this cube a lot because I used to play with this this used to be my top speed cube before I ever had any official speed cubes like the Guhong or the Zanchi. The only speed cubes I've ever had was the Guhong or the Zanchi. So I do not have a wide uh, perspective on, like, uh, wide perspective on speed cubes because I don't, I'm not exactly money rich, so I can't buy a bunch of cubes. So this is my only perspective, but this is like an intermediate cube. Beginner's cubes sort of like a Rubik's brand. A intermediate brand is this, basically, but loose. An expert brand, which is semi me, is this, because I know almost all the PLs. I should learn four more. Alright, so I'm going to show you a solve, but it's not going to be time, so I don't, like, scare myself half the time. So, on, let me get to the solve position. I'm going to put it right here, actually. Let me make sure the Position's good. Let me zoom out. Or move back. Scramble. I'm gonna scramble both my mind, so. So I forget about this scramble. And this is not cheated scramble. All these scrambles are completely real. They're not cheated. So, just moving it randomly. Randomly move it in a little. Now we're going to do this one. I'm not good with this one because I haven't played with it in a while. Oh crap, I messed up. See that catch that it happened right now? Um, can't 
can't see. See, the paint's worn out. A lot of piece of me playing, so. That's this one. Now that a test solved for this one. Obviously, I'm going to do better because the colors are more distinct than this one. So. Zanshi. Alright, so that's it pretty much. That is my solve for it. I'm just, I have a problem with tendency leaving it out of the camera a little bit. So if, if I did like this, I'm sorry. So just semi deal with it. Okay, so, so thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.